morning, good morning, good morning, gang kids. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. We are going back to that horrible world known as the JRC, but before we do the usual disclaimers, and I want to just state something with this straight bell shit in regards to Nickelodeon, because God, I'm exhausted. A.H. stands. you hate me, I don't care. I hate and despise you all, too. Okay? But in spite of that, in spite of myself, I do actually care about you all because you're just dumb kids believing the same crap I believed when I was your age. And I have to believe that lingering somewhere within you is some spark of intelligence. Or, yeah, you you know what I'm saying, okay? So in regards to Drake Bell, I know why you all are doing what you're doing. I am well aware of what he's been accused of and all the parameters, in spite of the fact this is not information that I have actively pursued because I'm too goddamn busy trying to fight the JRC, the medical model, and for fuck's sake, big ABA has had it out for me from day one, okay? But now I'm going to talk about it. There is a term. It's an old term. So let's face it, I'm old. I don't look it, but I feel it more every day. You want to know what that term is? It's called useful idiots. That A useful idiot is an individual with absolute blind devotion to a cause. To the point that it blinds them to everything else, even logic and common sense. In particular, it makes you particularly vulnerable to predators. And I'm not talking about the kind you like to sling on all day. What I'm talking about is the groups of individuals who defend people like Brian Peck. And why are you a useful idiot? Because in the name of Me Too, you are lambasting Drake and calling him a pedophile and all of this shit. I expected that, yes. You all have an M.O. And I expected that. But what I never in a million years believed you all were capable of, I've got proven wrong this morning. You see, when you start making TikTok videos in the defense of f***ing Brian Peck, an individual, to use your all's terminology, is a court-certified pedophile. Like, this is not up for debate here. This is not Q&A. This is not AH with none of her accusations backed up. This is a man who has already had a verdict against him, confirming him as a pedophile. You all are taking his side against his victim because of Believe All Women. And you can't seem to wrap your brain around, understand, or perceive exactly how ass-backwards this is. Maybe Drake did what he was accused of. Maybe he wasn't. But Brian Peck has already had his day in court. The verdict was he was guilty. The evidence is irrefutable. But you're still willing to try and tear down and tear holes into a survivor's story because me too believe all women. What makes you a useful idiot is you are going on TikTok posting these absurd videos to throw doubt on Drake. Now I'm going to ask you like you're five. Tell me, who does that benefit? 
If you believe Drake's guilty, do you think that any way, shape, or form defending Drake's abuser is going to help her any? How? Are you really willing to let go and let a man have unlimited access to high-profile kids that you know damn well what he's up to and what he's doing? Are you for real? Do you not understand or perceive the danger here? They are using you. They are using Believe All Women. They are using the vitriol and utter blind belief in whatever the media says. And they're banking on you regurgitating it on your TikTok channels. You are literally not just enabling Brian, but assisting him in building a public defense for a crime he's already been convicted and seen jail time for. All in the name of your cause. The question then becomes, what was the cause? To support victims and survivors, right? You've all lost sight of that. It's been kind of nothing but a stand war. With people so disconnected from reality and the rest of the world that you are willing to use real people with real trauma in order to weaponize them and throw them at your target as though it were a game. This is not a game. These are people's lives. Brian Peck is a dangerous child predator. You're not doing any favors with your little TikTok bullshit for the kids who are now within the line of sight of a ch actual court proven child. Who does it serve that you're doing this? Brian Peck. Okay. Maybe Drake did what he did. Maybe he didn't. But what happened to him as a kid has already been proven. Okay. Drake has not had that day in court now, has he? But Brian has. And in spite of the fact, all of Hollywood's machine is still behind him. So who are you protecting here? Okay. Maybe it's time you all took a step back and reevaluated why you became the part of the cause that you did for a first place. In fact, as being an advocate who's done this for decades, one of the best things that you can do for yourself is every few years or so, step back and see if you can remember why you're doing what you're doing. And also analyze if what you're doing and what you're planning is in the alignment with the original purpose. It also allows you to take a side look. And so from a third person point of view, to notice if there's any troublesome people trying to manipulate you or use your cause. But anyways, to the disclaimers, right? Folks, if you're unfamiliar with the Stop the Shocks campaign or the campaign against the troubled teen industry, speaking of, you're going to find all the pertinent links right there in the description box. Please, in particular, take note of the article written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics, 
In it, they interviewed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. The Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read that article so much. They threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic refused. You know the drill, folks. Please read the article. Share it on all your social media. Also included in there is Neuroclastic's public statement regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding just in case the JRC ever does see through of their threat. Trigger warning one, when we discuss places like the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center and Agape Boarding School for Boys, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips or surveillance footage of people with mental health issues and disabled people being tortured and abused. If you do got young children present, please make sure to utilize those headphones. Trigger warning two, this channel is marked not for kids for a reason. We use profanity on occasion. We do speak on dark subjects. If your child is 16 and younger and they're watching this, very obviously parental supervision is advised, all right? So where we left off yesterday, shall we? The FDA disagrees, as any logical, coherent person would. That you cannot sit there and tell me that when you use a device that is literally just below the lethal limit, that there's never been any proof of harm. Want to know why? Because even if I was brand spanking new to the subject, that's completed ESC. If something's running at 85 MPA and you are applying it repeatedly, eventually there's going to be damage to the area that you are focusing that freaking electricity to. This isn't rocket science, it's common damn sense. Which I know is not common anymore, which is why I should be shot or why there should be a comment. <sighs> As discussed in the proposed rule, the FDA believes that the scientific literature suffers from various limitations and has likely been underreported. Thank you! First off, we only have the few reports that were managed to make it to Massachusetts equivalent of DMH due to some incredibly brave souls. We know for a fact that they hyper-monitor every little thing these kids do. And in the actuality, if you look at their handbook, there is supposed to be a staff member about three foot back listening to every single line that is coming out of the kid's mouth. Now, if you got somebody breathing down your neck, even if they are not doing so physically, you are probably not going to be reporting the things that are actually going on because it's called intimidation. The JRC uses it regularly. Meanwhile, trying to convince everybody else that it's something else. Kind of their MO, isn't it? You're not seeing what you're seeing. This is what's actually happening. You realize that sounds worse. No, it can't be worse. You have to be crazy. Story of my damn life. AEs associated with ESDs for a number of reasons. Perhaps the most importantly, the devices have been studied only on a small number of subjects, many of whom would have difficulty communicating or otherwise demonstrating AEs, including injuries. Again, I am glad that the FDA realizes that our responses to pain stimuli is not going to be necessarily the same as that of a neurotypical. Especially when you are dealing with individuals who at the earliest ages are slammed onto a program that actually tries to focus upon us not fighting back. Not saying no. Not saying stop. You don't have to take my word for it. Go pick yourself up a handbook on ABA. Like most of these parents are forced two. Okay. All right. 
in a system that has already taught us to repress our feelings, our emotions, or anything that makes us unique from everybody else. When you've already been conditioned to lie about the marks that people see on your body. Right? Nor should it surprise anyone if a person freezes as opposed to giving a more neurotypical reaction to pain stimuli. Nor are we going to acknowledge the fact, apparently, that neurotypicals, just like us, often do freeze in abusive, fucked up situations, too. Nobody wants to address that, except me. Only me? Okay, whatever. Perhaps most importantly, the devices have been studied on a number, small number of subjects. And let's bring it back to this, since I reread it. Why do we only have such a small amount of data from such a small testing pool? Because every single university study program and research center, not just in the United States, but literally the globe, and those include Iran and North Korea, have agreed that doing such those types of experiments is so unethical that they won't approach it with the 50-foot pole, which means you will never get more data, God willing. Who knows with how the crap's going right now? Many of whom have difficulty communicating. We've gone over that. Although the FDA did not identify death as a risk of ESD use, we have reason to doubt the commenter's confidence about the lack of serious injuries related to ESD use. It's the people who state stupid shit boldly. What I mean by that is, if you are a person who is saying with complete and utter conviction that a device that runs literally four times more powerful than a police taser. The same police taser that is known to drop to death 250-pound muscle-bound man. They, in their confidence, want me to believe wholeheartedly that a device that is a thousand times more powerful does not have any harmful side effects whatsoever. Because I'm going to tell you to put the crack pipe down. Okay? Drugs are bad. Let's put it this way. You have multiple devices in use in your police force. Since we're using guns less and less, we've been used more prevalent to use things like police tasers, stingers, You get what I'm saying. We know the stories and have all seen them locally of men who have died due to police tasers. Karen, who is so confident in this device, has seen those new stories too. I know they fucking have. Okay? Now to say, but but our device isn't like that. It's different. And these kids aren't criminals, so they're not going to treat them like it. Have you ever looked at a single surveillance tape from the JRC? Forget the Andre McCollins for a second. A single surveillance footage from that place. It's a prison. It's Gitmo for autistic people. Do you understand and comprehend what I just said? It is the Gitmo for autistic, neurodivergent, and people with mental health issues, okay? (sighs) 
and for all of you who continue to turn a blind eye, but they helped my son at what cost? And who has to pay that cost? And did they really help your son? Or did they just torture them to the point that he now just shows the world what it wants to see to their own detriment? I'm going to close out on that, folks. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. We are doing a series of videos today. The main reason being because Way Day is coming. And I don't even want to begin, excuse my language, to fuck with this while I'm being tortured by Karens for 15-hour shifts. Uh, I love you all, though. And as always, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. I'll see you in a few minutes.